All right, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to set up DOS games on Linux. Um, basically, what you need is a DOS game. I chose Blood for my DOS game, um, and Play on Linux, which I'm running LXLE, which is just Ubuntu that somebody took and made lighter weight. Um, you can get Play on Linux on the Software Center on both Ubuntu LXLE and Ubuntu. Um, just search Play on Linux and it should come up. Um, sorry, my computer is so slow. It'll come up like this, and you can either take it and install it in the terminal emulator or you can add it to the apps basket which would originally be here if I didn't already have it installed. Um, to begin you need to download your uh, DOS game. I'll put some links in the description. Um, and what you do is you open play on Linux and you wait for everything to load. I've already got a few games set up as you can see. Then you hit, um, well first you need to install DOS supported uh, versions of Wine. Uh, you just need the latest one. Um, something is wrong with my internet. But um, basically you'll click on the x86 Wine versions and under here will be DOS support 0 0.6, 1.4, you'll have to scroll down a little bit to find it, but 0 0.6 is the latest, you need the latest installed, and then you click on it, you hit this, and it might ask you for a password, it might not, and then it'll install it for you. And then after you do that, you hit configure, you open, you start a new virtual drive, and this thing will walk you through it. You select 32 bit installation for DOS games. Then you select this, the Wine version that you set up. And then you make a name for it. Um, I'm going to use the simplest name, Blood, the name of the game. And. Then it creates a virtual drive, and it'll configure everything for you. Still waiting, still waiting, okay, there it goes. Then you'll select your virtual drive, you'll come over here to miscellaneous, you'll open your drives directory and you'll either hit control in or you'll hit you'll click on file new window and then in your first window you want the drives directory this one's the drives directory you go to drive c program files and then on here wherever you have your dos game saved i've got it on my desktop you take that folder drag it over to the programs file folder and then you can close both of those windows then you come over to general, you make a new shortcut from this virtual drive, and it'll scan the drive, and it's smart about it, and it'll bring up the game. Um, then you'll select the executable file for the game. Um, it could be named a range of things. Um, for SimCity it was SC2000. For Sim Life, I can't remember what it was, but it was an abbreviated version of the name. Um, for Blood, it's blood.exe. And then you'll just you'll create a name for it, and that'll be all that you need for that. Then you can close your configuration window, and you run this file.
and it will run through DOSBox. And you just wait for it. And for this particular version, I don't know why it's not launching. It did this earlier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new shortcut and I'm going to use the setup file that are in there and next setup and basically what this one does is it lets you configure all the settings for it your video your everything else uh, SimCity 2000 did the same thing I actually had to set up the video settings for it and then you run this it'll run through DOSBox again um, you'll also need to install DOSBox I don't know if it installs it with it I had it installed before I uh, did the play on Linux thing um, you'll set up your screen which <coughs> um, I don't know SimCity um, automatically set it up for VESA so I'm going to just set it up for VESA. You can set up your controllers, your um, sound, all that good stuff. Um, you don't need to mess with any of that. Unless you really want to. Um, I'm going to set this back up. No, I'm not going to do that. Okay. And you hit save launch blood. Hopefully it'll work. But that's how you do that. It works with basically any DOS game if you know how to set it up. So, <clears throat> that is that works. I'm going to try one more thing before I uh, log out. Yeah. Um, that one doesn't work, but SimCity, it works. I've gotten SimCity to run, and Play on Linux runs kind of laggy. Um, <laughs> turn down the volume in the middle of that game so I'll just turn off my speakers instead but that's how you do that so good luck